And Jefferson Paris said, since you didn't have a report filed and it's your car, you can go ahead and just get in your car and go. A man in New Orleans tracks down his stolen SUV in Jefferson Parish using an app. When he goes to see if it's there, he calls the authorities and is surprised at what he's told he should do. Just steal the car back. As we said, the vehicle was found in Jefferson Parish, but not by deputies. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore. Skip said it's a story I just have to share with you. The owner tracked it down himself, says authorities told him to just steal his car right back. And as Mike McDaniel explains, GPS and determination led to it happening. When Thad McIntyre parked his BMW SUV on Burgundy Street near his home on the Marigny Saturday, he figured that's where it would stay. Then Sunday happened. As we were walking past, something just didn't feel right. And I'm like, my vehicle was supposed to be right here. <laughs> Thinking it may have gotten towed, McIntyre used an app to track it down. That brought him to this skate park under Interstate 610, but no luck finding his SUV. That's when he called police to report it stolen. They were going to send him out to the house to, to try and uh, locate uh, or fill out the report, and it just got too late. This is Officer Davis with the New Orleans Police Department calling in regards to a vehicle theft. If you still need to complete that report with us, you can do so by calling 50. McIntyre says this voicemail is from NOPD, finally calling back around 1130 Sunday night. When he woke up Monday morning, though, he checked the app again. Lo and behold, the vehicle was at a different location. McIntyre went to that location. My car was filthy. Ran Copas Court in Jefferson Parish. It looked like they had been down dirt roads and just went mudding. There was his SUV parked outside of an abandoned house. McIntyre says he then called in OPD, which got in touch with Jefferson Parish. And Jefferson Parish said, since you didn't have a report filed and it's your car, you can go ahead and just get in your car and go. McIntyre says he asked for a deputy to be sent out, but was told that wasn't going to happen. I was running through my head with it, and I thought, you know, I'm really uncomfortable not knowing who, where these people are in my vehicle. And am I going to get shot trying to take my own vehicle back? So he got in his SUV and left. I guess my adrenaline was running so fast at that point. I was just like, let's get, just get this car and get out of here. Thankful he's safe. McIntyre believes the thief was able to steal the SUV because he forgot he left a spare key in the glove box something he says he won't do again. They just walk by and pop handles, and unfortunately for me, <laughs> I was the victim that time. <laughs> Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Unbelievable story there. We reached out to both Jefferson Parish and NOPD about this. Jefferson Parish confirms that this happened and says not sending a deputy was an error by the person who took the call, and it will be handled internally. Now, NOPD says without an item number, the department is unable to verify or even address the matter.